Welcome back to our channel and welcome to another Motorhome Monday. Look, Motor it's the Motorhome. Motorhome Monday. We're going to show you some stuff we're working on in the RV. And Jonathan's going to talk about uh, gross black tank stuff. And yeah, so welcome to another episode. Let's go inside. All right, guys, don't mind our normally clean RV. But this is all. There's the microwave that we took out because uh, in the entire time, 7,000 miles of driving this RV, we have never used the microwave for anything. And we don't use one at home, really. So we're taking, we took that out. Jonathan's tools. This is for a project in the back of the RV. All the stuff up here and our new addition. Ninja Foodi XL Pro Air Oven, which is going right there it's going to replace or has already replaced it's not installed all the way has already replaced the microwave so this is a um, 10 in 1 ninja foodie xl pro air oven so it is an oven a toaster oven it also is a air fryer and seven other things that i can't think of right now <laughs> I got this at an amazing deal. I got it at almost um, half off. It's normally um, 300 and around $329. And I um, got it for about $199. So yeah, cool deal. So that's what we're working on today. So yeah, here's our mess. Normally everything's not a mess in here, but project time. All right, so we're gonna talk about a little bit of a um, stinky situation so we're gonna talk about black tank maintenance and great tank maintenance so one of the things about black tank maintenance is everybody's afraid of because ugh, you know the smells you know get dirty you know if you've been RVing for a while everybody's got a story about getting black tank stuff all over them on their hands all that um, it was actually a pretty funny story I was talking with uh, Dan and Jen and uh, Dan was telling me that um, he doesn't always wear gloves because he's just gotten so used to dealing with the black tank that he doesn't usually have a problem anymore. I still wear gloves because I'm not used to it and I still get stuff on my hands. That's what happens when you're a pro RVer versus a novice. So, But anyway, um, one of the things that I want to talk about is what we use to keep our tank clean. Many, many months ago, I posted a picture about some of the things that we bought for the original motorhome, and one of them was our Stinky Slinky, and everybody commented that weren't RVers about the clear elbow, and a bunch of people were grossed out because you get to see everything come out through the clear elbow. Well, there's a need for that clear elbow. You need to know when your hose is clean. Well, in talking with the folks from Unique RV, there's actually another reason for that the, the clear elbow. It's so you can kind of see the health of your tank. And if you're seeing a lot of chunky stuff coming through, that means your tank is not digesting itself very well. And that is one of the problems that I noticed for the longest time when we used uh, the product that a lot of people use, Happy Camper. Happy Camper does great to keep the smell down but I don't notice it actually breaking anything down. And ever since we've bought this coach, it has had a problem with tank sensors. Well, I reached out to the folks at Unique and I said, hey, you guys have a great product. Uh, we did some testing with it in school at the um, uh, National RV Training Academy. And they showed us, they did a, a thing with uh, dog food. Go search uh, Unique RV dog food. On the, uh, on the internet, on YouTube, and you'll see a bunch of people have done videos with dog food and showing how unique, um, uh, unique RV and marine products break down f dog food better than any of the other products. I'm not gonna do that here, but I will tell you guys, go check that out. So, we're not sponsored, endorsed by, or anything. 
um, with Unique RV, but it's just a product that I've started using and I really like. In the last few times that we've been out, every time I, since I started using the Unique product, I noticed that everything coming through the hose, everything coming out of the slinky, it's pretty liquefied, which means it is breaking down all of that stuff. It is using those en enzymes and bacteria and stuff like that and breaking it all down and sending it out. And even in the short span of, you know, sometimes just a couple days going from park to park, I noticed that it is very not solid. So your solids are really broken down. So that's actually pretty cool. Smell. Um, with the with the bacteria breaking everything down, there is a little bit more of a smell than with um, Happy Camper, but completely uh, not, I mean, not really noticeable. So I notice it because I'm paying attention for it uh, because I was trying it out. But honestly, it's been working out great for us. Um, so I wanna show you guys what we're using. And we have the RV Digest It. Let's see focus there it is RV digest it from unique marine um, so I bought this um, and in talking with them they actually sent me this they told me to try it out uh, and this all has to do with my um, my mobile tech so this is the sensor cleaner I told them I was having issues with the sensor and they said use this give it a shot so I have not started this yet <coughs> I have not started with this yet, I'll let you guys know how this works out. Um, and they did send me a pack of um, the Digest It little uh, drop-in tablets. They sent me these. Um, actually, they sent me these for free, so I was uh, I was actually really excited about that because I I bought the uh, the bottle. So about two ounces of that every time I use the tank, uh, I just pour it in there with. Uh, I fill up the toilet bowl, flush it, fill it up again, flush it. And um, I leave that much water in the tank. And they said, keep a lot of water in the tank uh, as, much as, as much as necessary. Um, and uh, it should work. And I will tell you guys, it has been working great. If you want more information on the unique product, uh, reach out to them. Uh, Unique Marine, Marine and RV, they've got a great website that gives you all kinds of information. Uh, if you guys want to buy some of the products, you can find it on Amazon or uh, buy it directly from Unique Marine and RV. I'm trying to see if I can work out a deal with them through the um, uh, through my RV tech stuff because that's one of the things that I'm going to be learning more about because it seems like it's something that nobody wants to deal with. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, studying on black tanks and I will keep you guys informed at where we are with that. But if I do get a deal on uh, some of these products, uh, if anybody is interested in buying some, uh, if you're willing to wait for a little bit, if I get enough people that, that are interested after posting this video, I'll reach out to them and see, you know, through my mobile RV tech um, service, what kind of deal I can get on these products. Uh, and I'll share that deal with you guys. So shoot us an email at createandcapturelife at gmail.com. Lynn always has the information down below. And uh, in the subject line, put, um, you know, black take maintenance or unique uh, product or something like that. Just make it so that it's obvious so that we know. And whoever's interested in uh, picking up a couple bottles or picking up some of the, the maybe I should say picking up a bottle or the uh, drop-ins or want me to follow up with them on how the process goes with um, the tank cleaner, the, the sensor cleaner, I will specifically work on getting that out to you guys and we'll we'll keep you guys updated separately from from our from our channel. And I've had a lot of questions about, you know, gray tank maintenance also uh, on the mobile tech side. And the one thing that I keep hearing from everybody is don't use any special products in your gray tank because there's always going to be some sort of a smell and your gray tank doesn't really have the same kind of thing as your black tank in that, you know, the P-traps and stuff like that as you're driving around sometimes do slosh around and you will get some gases and stuff like that. What I use is Dawn dish soap. I'll take about a good two ounces, 
you know, an ounce to two ounces of Dawn dish soap, and I will pour it down the um, the kitchen sink, and I'll just let Dawn dish soap do its thing. And I'll do that on a drive day, on a travel day. I'll do about you know about five gallons or five to ten gallons of water into the gray tank with the Dawn dish soap, let it do its thing while we're driving, and then as soon as we get to a park, I uh, I drain the tanks. That's actually kind of good to help clean your um, your slinky too. So, so you have all that Dawn dish soap running through. So that's what I do to keep our gray tank clean. If you have a better idea on what to use for your gray tank, leave it in the comments down below and I'll definitely look into it. So more to come on black tank maintenance and gray tank maintenance, but for now, that's all I got. Wow, I'm a hot mess from working on the RV. Well, we installed the new Ninja oven, painted the surround, touched up paint throughout the entire RV. And what else did we do? So we switched a couple of the outlets around in the, um, in the motorhome and then I added because uh, one of the outlets had a USB port and now it doesn't. Uh, I replaced it with a GFI instead. Um, so now I put uh, some USB ports also in the kitchen so that if Lynn has anything to charge in the kitchen, um, it can charge. Yep, so that's what we got done today. And we ordered Lucille's barbecue. If you hear cars, it's because we are literally standing on the street with our RV in the background, but we are in the shady side this time. Um, we ordered Lucille's barbecue for dinner. It's getting delivered in about 10 minutes. So, so as usual, we always end this videos where we're gonna go eat dinner. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. We hope you enjoyed this little bit off weird, big truck, little off weird motorhome Monday. I have no makeup on, I'm a hot mess, but that's okay. Thanks for being here. We really do appreciate each and every one of you for being on our journey. Stay safe, stay healthy. Stay positive, test negative. And we're coming up with a new ending soon. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Who knows? Crazy as life goes. That we'll write a story. We tell to a very old.